Hello everybody, a warm welcome. I hope you're having a lovely evening. We've got another look at our one day special. This is phenomenal. You are getting everything that you're seeing here. Eight projects, two DVDs. That's effectively eight masterclasses with the lovely Ali. And I've got to introduce you uh, to Ali first and foremost. Ali, how you doing? Hello. It's, it, it's nice we get to work because not not long ago, a couple no. of days ago we were working <laughs> no, together. Yeah. We hadn't worked together for ages and then... Two I, days on track. Exactly. Um, what I love about working with you, and we were talking about this the other day, you are so passionate about yeah. giving people projects, yes. getting people crafting, and especially, and we were having a little bit of a chat in between shows, with obviously Christmas just around the corner, these are incredibly giftable. Yes, I mean this was the whole sort of thinking about it because we do like crafting, we like making things, but then you get that, oh, what am I going to do with it kind yeah. of scenario. Uh -huh. Whereas these are all things that make fabulous gifts. So you've got notice boards, you've got gift boxes, you've got, you've got so photo frames. This you've got is on the DVD. What we're yeah. seeing here, that is a project on the DVD. That yeah. is incredible. You just need to rummage through broken jewellery and sort of okay. fabrics and stuff, but yes. Again here, what we're looking at, another project on the DVD. Yeah, so you get to, the, the, the main thing there is the mushrooms. Yeah. Because you can never have two mushrooms you on a show. See, oh, that's Ali. why there's two of them. Oh, Ali. You, <laughs> so you, get you need to, Janice here with <laughs> that joke. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was crying out <laughs> but you get to do the distressing technique but then yeah. also the bit I like which is the making the little things to go on yeah. but obviously that's a fun bit and you do get excited yes. about that but the thing is I've done that on that shelf but the mushrooms also look fabulous on the side of a notice board yeah. you know you could put like a fairy scene on there or on the twisty shelf everything that I've done I've done it on one project, but so easily can be translated into others. Mm. The technique that you do on the clipboard, yeah. I've also done on a frame. So it, it's not. You know, on the DVDs, you show the techniques. Yes. We're dipping into our stash. Can I get one thing across? I think this is really important because I was watching the launch show. It says £10 saving. You're not getting a £10 saving. You're actually saving £50. And let me put this into context. If you were to get just uh, splitting the one day special in half, four of the projects with the DVD, that would be £49 uh, and some change. But then if you go for the one day special, you'd be saving £20 here, £20 here, so you're actually saving £40 in total with a further £10 on top of that. So you are getting eight projects in total, you're saving £50. What you're looking at now should be over £100 worth of product for 49 90 And I want to point something out. I was just doing some maths here. Let's break this down. So £49, it's, well, let's say £50 to make life easy. £50, eight projects, that works out at just over £6 per project. Is that right? £6.25 yeah. per project. That price, we haven't even talked about the DVD, that's £6.25, effectively you're getting the DVDs if you break it down that way, and you would easily, looking at these, I mean, I would pay £6.25 for that as a project, right? Yeah, I think that is a very good price. So effectively the DVD, the education, is a bonus. You're getting two, I'm describing it as two bonus DVDs if you do consider each one of these projects £6.25. When you look at, and everything we're showing here, so for instance, that is a project you're going to be able to do on the DVD. So oh, who's this? That's Tonka. Tonka is getting a belly rub and we can't leave out Who's this? And that's Marvin. Marvin and Tonka. I love, okay. But let's consider dipping into our stash, maybe r getting some rust effect on here. It's just such a lovely little project and a really good way to set off uh, a lovely picture inside. That's one project. Then you can go on from making this to this. Our clipboard. So this clipboard, I've done this as a calendar, but this could easily be a journal as well. Yeah. So you can make all the different pages that go inside, you decorate it up, and so this is done as a perpetual calendar, so you can use it year in, year out. So you're getting the MDF, you're getting the substrate, and then we're dipping into our stash, using our stash to build up that project, but you're getting the instructions and well, the inspiration. This is why that's all, all the pages are different sizes, yeah. because I just grabbed some of my leftover pieces of paper. I love it. So, and there's yeah. cardboard in there and all sorts. Down here, that, okay, I've got a question for you. Would you pay £6.25 for that? 
100 percent we've all got a paintbrush yeah. kicking around that's been <laughs> really left do. to dry a loads. little bit too much i've got loads okay six pounds 25 per project six pounds 25 just looking here i know we've added the little uh, bit of oh no we haven't acrylic because that's sand sorry six pounds this one is actually on the dvd you have the dandelion version yeah. of this because that's the stencil you actually get in the kit as okay. well so you get the stencil to do that technique what you just need to do is grab tester pots and that's exactly what that's done with is just four odd okay. left in the cupboard paints so that's half of the projects that we've seen if we just scoot over here i just want you to know all the projects that you're getting on the dvds six pounds 25 to do something the, um, like this the egg what? is just tin foil with a pom-pom in the middle to start you shaping off. Oh, come on, that's incredible. The bottle can be any bottle that you find lurking around, and then everything else is all reclaimed bits and pieces. Six pounds 25. Let me pop that down. Here, again, six pounds 25. It's going to be another element that you'll find on the DVD. So uh, each one of these are masterclass. Let me just show you that there. I'm not conscious of fact. Oh, that was how it was, OK. So £6.25 here, £6.25. Now what's this? It's your little recipe card box, so you can keep all sorts of bits and pieces in it. What? Ideal for little photos and little cards and things like that. All the little, you know when sometimes oh, you get I little really business this. cards and things like that, yeah. you can keep it all together. I, get, I know exactly <laughs> what you mean, I get a lot of those. Or keys, or little trinket um, box, or jewellery. You jewel. know the cards that you collect so many stickers for and then you get a free coffee? Yeah keep that in there because how many people end up with 17 cards with one sticker on each one ah, and good good uh, idea from Marcus our director is saying he often gets given numbers so uh, little numbers there mark don't play don't blame the player blame the game <laughs> uh, and then finally we have now this one's nice too this is our little strong box uh-huh so you know because you always need it does look a little bit like an Acme one that would be storing dynamite for yeah. Wiley Coyote <laughs> but <laughs> I love it okay this is how, uh, so when I was watching the one day, so I was actually having my dinner and watching the one day special, I was getting excited by this as a crafter. Let me explain. If we were, and this is how, just purely humbly how I would see it. If you were to just to take the eight projects and someone was telling me you're paying six pounds 25 per project, I'm happy with that. Six pounds 25, I think is fantastic. Just if you just got purely the projects and some instructions, I would be happy. But what you're getting in this bundle on top of that, so our £6.25, we've covered the price. Everything else is a bonus. You'll be getting the, uh, the little stencil here. That's a bonus. And both DVDs. I mean, how much would you pay for a DVD? How much would you pay to do a, a craft class, a master class with Ali, effectively a one-on-one -on -one session? That is what you're getting here. The two DVDs you have, you're not paying anything for those. The stencil, you're not paying anything for those. If you just broke it down for each project, £6.25, remember you're actually saving £50. What you're seeing in front of you here should be over £100. You're saving £50 courtesy of the one day special. I think this is phenomenal value for money. I was blown away by this. And as crafters, we are all looking for that next project. It is right here. You've got eight projects to choose from. You know if it's brought to you by Stamps Way and Alley, it's going to be exceptional. Everything made in-house. Uh, we are approaching 30% of the stock. We are busy. Thank you so much for joining us because this is a very special one day special. And I'm so glad I'm getting to present the hour with the lovely Alley. 705 268, your item number. Now, we've got to say, we've got we got some sad news. Oh dear. The Cabochons, I'm afraid, have sold out in between uh, shows. So uh, we will see what we can do tomorrow. But as it stands, the Cabochons have gone. Uh, and also the glass domes. These are oh, so gone. lovely. They are lovely. I'm afraid they've gone as well. So uh, the glass domes have sold out too. I'm so sorry. But that gives you an indication of how busy we were at launch. So do not miss out. Now I've got one more thing I'm going to share with you. And uh, I'm going to be quick here, and I apologize. I know I took a little while just to talk through the one day special, but I really wanted to get across. I mean, value for money and what you're getting with there, it's exceptional. And I was getting excited watching the show, and I just wanted anyone who's tuning in to get a full appreciation of exactly what they were getting. Uh, now, this is great because 
We all know that the self adhesive ephemera is something that Ali and Stamps Away are known for. These are brand, brand new designs at great prices. So this, look, you're saving three pounds on brand new designs and you're getting to pick any three. So effectively, you're getting nine in total because you get three in each. And there are so many beautiful designs to go through. Lovely colors uh, as well. I'm just gonna go through and show you all the different designs that you are getting. So for instance, if you wanted, by the way, we I'm sure we're going to work with some of these, are we? We will yeah. do, yeah. The Ali really has got a reputation for bringing such beautiful ephemera. So we'll show you them in action shortly this hour, but you're getting the poinsettia there. Then uh, Scott, put it upside down for me, testing me. Uh, then we've got our Christmas sentiments. Oh, get a bit steampunky. We've got some cogs in the mix. There's frames, you can find all of these on the website, but what would be your three? Would you go for a mix? Would you go three of the same? That, yeah, that's cool. That is, it's called Dirty Cup, and it is just so handy, because it's, it's I know it's, it's like, oh, I don't want a coffee stain, yeah. but actually it, it finishes yeah. things off, and it ties things together, and it's yeah. just perfect. Love that, and this one's very nice. This is very delicate and pretty. Yeah, I like that, or, oh. That right, so this is clever. This so is this very clever, yeah. This is your calendar. Now you can have it as a perpetual calendar and then mm -hmm. you just leave off the days of the week. Yeah. But if you want to do it for any year, if you want to be very forward planning and do 2022, you can do. All you need to know is what day of the week the 1st of January falls on. And then you take the strip of days of the week and yeah. you cut. So if Friday's the first, you cut so that the Friday's at the front, line it up above the one, put the other bit at the end, and then you've got it lined up properly. Genius. Yeah, and then, of course, from that, you can then work out where, where you only need else. to know where the 1st of January falls. Okay, 100% going in my basket. There we go, I've got my first choice. I'd actually might get three of those and then do another little pick and mix, because I like this as well. The wood effect is phenomenal on the MDF. So this, this is, is really like nice. the new crackle. <laughs> Yeah, because crackle was so popular you know and it's still so popular. Yeah. But this, especially when you use the wood crystals, which we've got on as well, uh -huh. you put that over the top, and instantly you're yeah. you've got planks of wood, and it's fabulous. And again, yes. you can cut it up into any size that you want. Save all the little bits because you never know when you're going to just need a tiny little bit. It's another one; it has to go in your basket. It really does. And I use that word sparingly, but it really does. Uh, and then you've got your baubles and your Christmas as well. Eleven ninety-seven your price. It is a pick and mix, so you get to pick your favourite three, or you can just go for one of the same and just triple up three eight seven five eight three your item number we're gonna now go uh, to Ali and let her do what she does best and that's obviously give us some inspiration so Ali what are we gonna work with right so we're going to make a little Christmas crate okay but we're kind of gonna do a mix and match because we're going to do the finish off the rivet effect we started earlier and then we're going to look at the cherry staining from the wool from the stains okay so let's just mix up some cherry stain first mm -hmm. so a tiny bit of water i'm going to put a lot less in than i did last time okay um oh and before i forget from earlier we used the, the excess stain to age up some papers which we might use later oh, i just had some copy of paper cool. so ink stains on them the wood stains and i've now got some nice antique paper never know when you need antique paper nice Okay, so I'm so just going to put, just you really don't need much. I mean, that is a fraction. Does it, it's, it's as if you're putting chilli into a dish, just a sparing amount. Yeah. Oh, I mean, that's ridiculously intense. It is. If you don't like mucky fingers, you uh -huh. may want to wear gloves with okay. this. Okay, well, it's a stain, so... It you is, know, yeah. I mean, it's, it's water-based, so it's not permanent stain, uh. but enough to make your fingers look colourful. Okay. Now, we've got cues on our phone lines, and I'm so, so pleased that we do, because every One Day Special, we try and give you something that obviously goes above and beyond. And, but there's certain ones, and it's just natural. As crafters, we have our particular favourites. It's a very personal thing. I love working with Ali, genuinely love working with Ali. And what she's offering here, when you consider eight projects, two DVDs, and the stencil, all for uh, a great price. Uh, apologies for our graphics, they're just playing out for a moment. But uh, £49.90, 
Uh, two flexi payments, by the way, something I didn't mention. You get everything today for £25, I think, is it £25? Just under £25. Now, let me put this into context. £25 today, you're getting everything. The regular retail price for everything you're seeing in front of you would be over £100. It is a phenomenal deal. Uh, and you always do that, Ali. Whenever you come in, you bring us something that is a little bit special. Well, I'm a crafter. Yeah. So I know what it's like. You want everything and you want it now. Yeah. Um, so we try and do a variety. But I was also going to say, on the DVDs, yes, you get to do the dragon shelf. But there's also some really dip your foot in projects that mm. are quite look complicated but are quite straightforward so you don't have to dive straight in so and do the dragon work our way up. you can work your way up it might not necessarily be in that order on the uh -huh. dvd but because okay. they're just you know the projects yeah. are there but you know you can pick and go right i'll try that one first and then that will build your confidence because a lot of people go i don't think i can do that mm. well i can hand on heart say you can it's yeah. that nothing I do is, you don't have to be an amazing artist or anything, you, you oh, can nice. literally do it. And with the DVD, you've got that as a reference, and it, what you love to do, I know every time I work with you, is teach techniques. Yes. So if it was me, I'd watch the DVD, I'd get that skill set, in time, and it happens to us all, you kind of think, oh, how did I do something? Yeah. You've got it as a reference, you can go back to it. Exactly, and I also, <laughs> my husband laughs at me, because uh -huh. I just constantly talk. Yeah what I do so <laughs> when I'm doing it, I'm going, you can do this oh and then by the way you could do this this and so there'll be 17 different things that will be completely unrelated to what I'm doing but they'll spark ideas yeah. and the idea being that you'll turn it off and go oh, actually and it's not prescriptive it's not like you have to do this mm. it's like I found that this works I found that this works because so yeah. that you're understanding why things because it's all very well me standing there going you must put that on first but if I don't explain why, yeah. it's like, well, why do I need to put that on first? And it'll cool. be, well, because, you know, this is water soluble and that will, you know, so there's, there's reasoning behind so that you'll understand. Because yeah. if you understand why things do what they do, you'll get more out of them. Yeah. I've just actually cleaned up, so I grabbed okay. a bit, bit of copy of paper. And what we'll do is we'll let that dry and then we'll put up some baubles on that Perfect. in a minute. Perfect. Okay. Like that. So our cherry, I love the warmth of this colour. That, and that's not been primed, you've just gone no, straight just on with straight the stain. On. That yeah, is you incredible. might find the first time you go over, it will seem to bead on the top. Right. Just let it soak in. It's a beautiful colour. And I've got to tell you, we are busy for our stains. You're getting the pine cherry and your chestnut, $12.99. And think how long these are going to last you. But onto wood, they are incredible. And I have to say, the pine is, um, mm. think, cheap bed and breakfast, bedside table yeah. type. It's, it's not brand new pine. It's got that kind of yellowy warmth to it. Oh, you like can that. mix the colours together as well, but I just, I love the pine, and especially when you put your wood grain mm -hmm. over the top. Uh, we are approaching 40% of the stock with regard to our stains, so uh, there's something I know you're very excited about bringing on the show. Yes, because yeah. I've, um, I've been using traditional walnut ink crystals for a while, but um, obviously that only gives you one shade yeah. uh -huh. this gives you and you can paint them on with a paintbrush so you could actually do almost like faux marquetry effect yeah um if you've got a steady hand which isn't me <laughs> so i'm just painting this with black gesso okay so this is for those that didn't see the six o'clock show what i did was i went along and did even blobs of glue and then between the shows i've let it dry so i now have hard bubbles so it kind of look like the rivets. Exactly. And just from glue. Yeah. I You're very imaginative for how you use your stash, Ali. The thing is, if I've got one thing, I like it to do more than just what it's supposed to. Mm. Because, as I say, we don't have endless A space, B pockets of money, mm. so everything has to earn its keep. I like that. And do you know, Ali, it's funny because we're talking to the team. And as crafters, and you guys at home will relate to this, we buy a lot of things, and you have a lot of things in your stash, and it's incredible how quickly your stash does build. So with your projects, I think this is a really nice opportunity to dip into our stash, use our papers, use our stencils, use our inks, use the stains. I mean, everything you have in your stash, you can use. Exactly, and say, for example, the project of the notice board with the old paintbrush. Yeah. Obviously, I've used a paintbrush as the central f feature, but you'll be shown the technique on how to build up that kind of thing. And it's one of those where colour yeah. doesn't matter. Yeah. So if you've got That's nice. Especially when you're all starting out, you yeah. you you know, you buy the big bumper packs of embellishments because you know you think you need them and you end up with 
sky blue pink with purple uh -huh. dot flowers that you're never going to use yeah. well you use them on a project like that because you're introducing color yeah. to them and you have techniques to go over the top so that could be anything that, that you quite like it could be a fancy stick or anything that you want in the middle there well, I had a paintbrush because that represents me yeah I like that I've got to tell you that with regards to the one day special we are really busy 40% of the stock let me put that into context 40% of the stock that's meant to last 24 hours. You are getting eight individual projects. You're seeing them all here, but not only that, you get two DVDs to help you, guide you, get the most out of the projects. And I'm just, we have got the projects here. I'll just show you a couple because I don't want to detract from uh, Ali's demonstration. But look, that is one of the projects. Now I'll just show you. That one is actually what I would consider a starter project okay. because it's really simple but ever so effective. Oh, look. I mean, obviously set off by the wonderful model inside it. <laughs> um, but, you know, and that could be anything, any photo. Could be a natural photo. I've been taking a lot Family of... Family photo or yeah. just if you don't want to put a photo in there, think pattern papers, sentiment if you wanted. Yeah. Um, die cut a heart out of yeah. a brightly patterned paper, put it onto Done. a white background inside a black frame really sort of yeah. trendy that's one project this is another project so this gives you an idea of what you're going to be getting in your dvd but don't i mean looking at this you're like oh I, I could never do this you absolutely can and when you look inside okay we can just get an old bottle put it inside there that dragon egg is actually well even the bottle is a technique there because um it's oil and water it's oh. not doesn't show up so well because I actually put black mi uh, black mica in the bottom and I shouldn't have done uh, uh. Uh, but again I explain why it, but basically it's sorry dragon eggs dropped <laughs> but it's a dragon egg it will last oh okay I'm gonna pop that down there I was, so, yeah, I was so tempting that's fate <laughs> it's oil and water <laughs> yeah so it's a basic science experiment but it it's works. great fun the DVDs are incredible you're getting two of those look wh when you buy a DVD think you could pay I, I'm just talking in general here. You could pay, what, 12 to 15 pounds just for a DVD. Yeah. So when you consider you're getting both DVDs, you're getting eight projects, you're getting the stencil, it's a, for me, it's a no-brainer. But I said, I've tried very hard to, although the DVD is showing you how to decorate that particular project, yeah. everything I do can be translated from this project. Could even be translated to, you've been to the charity shop or somebody's skip and found an old bedside table yeah. you know there's things on there that you can take across the very simple wood graining effect I do <laughs> so easy and you could do that on a massive piece of furniture if you wanted to or yeah. on a miniature doll's hat you know I've yeah. tried to do it so that y it should spark your imagination and encourage you to do lots of different things and not and also, don't always listen to me. Huh. Be, don't, if I've sparked an idea, give it a go. Don't yeah. go, oh, she said I could only do this. Go, well, actually, because every day she'd have, I wonder what will happen if, in terms of crafting, what will happen if I mix that with that. And I love your outlook. Genuinely love your outlook. It's no rules, just have some fun. This is why when I do, when I do the workshops in a box, they're really yeah. hard, because if you do a workshop with me in my factory, yeah inevitably I'll go hang on a minute and I'll scurry off and come back with something which I hadn't planned to use. Roughly for workshops, if I was to do a workshop with you, the yeah. say workshop box, how much would it be roughly? If it was just a normal mini project one mm. for all day, £25. Okay and that's actually very good. <laughs> yeah. No seriously, that's what you're <laughs> under cheap. Ali, you're undercharging. <laughs> but I've, Possibly. I've been to others that are a lot more expensive okay so just think about that in mind. If you would go to Ali and do an all-day workshop, you're looking at £25. You've got eight workshops here, yeah, eight individual workshops. Because maybe, I mean, if we were doing a, a normal workshop, a simple palette art might be one project, but if you were doing something like the shelf, the dragon shelf, that is obviously an all-day project. Yeah. And the other thing is, these are things, I know we seem to be having more time at home at the moment, but it's not always the case. Or mm. you might only have half an hour here or half an hour there. All of these are you can pick up and do. Or there's bits where you need to leave it to dry. Yeah. So, you know, there, you there's... Can work on another bit. Yeah. yeah. I quite often have multiple things. Um, just top tip, if your, well, your wood stain's taking a long time to dry, but you've just cooked a Sunday roast and your oven's still warm, mm. they dry off lovely in the <laughs> oven. Lovely, <laughs> it did. You're proper crafter. You're crafter. Yeah, don't craft in the kitchen. It's so not good. How are we getting on? Just to right, so explain where we're All I've at. done is I've dusted some mica on while the black gesso was wet. So now we've got that metal effect. Now, mm -hmm. I could come on and use my wood grain. Right. 
which looks fabulous but I actually wanted to keep it very simple and I was just going to do this as the side of a Christmas hamper so I'm going to take my Christmas okay. greeting position that in the middle if it's slightly damp still mm -hmm. it will move about but once the moisture is dry yeah. it will stick down completely and then we've got our little Merry Christmas nice. And then on the DVD, I go through how to that looks rope, so good. rope bind your handles so that yeah. it looks like a proper strong box. Well, and that's what we're seeing, uh, we're seeing here. Lovely. Right, so do you remember I mopped up that piece of paper? Yeah. Should we do a quick Christmas card? Yeah, OK. OK. This so is I on just the, you hadn't planned this. No, this was a, while there was um, some stain, because there's the planks, the, the stain sort of dribbled through. Mm. So I thought, let's not waste that. Lovely. OK. Let's, let's do a very arty, um, tall, thin card, I think mm. we'll do. OK. Because I think that will look quite good. What have I got in terms of... Oh. Uh, oh now, I had an email from Steve-O saying he's loving the new old yes. Thank you, Steve-O. I know Steve-O's a big fan of yours. He is blessed, and he's yeah. been to some workshops. Yeah. <laughs> right. Good, I've, seen, I've actually seen Steve-O uh, live events at NEC, and he's always the first when he turns up to put himself onto a workshop. Yeah, he, um, and he also embraces going out, um, out of his comfort zone, mm. and also not being afraid to go off script. Yeah. I'm, I'm a big one of, it's all right to change your mind as you're halfway through a project or a demonstration. Yeah. <laughs> Which is why producers really love me. <laughs> I always admire someone who isn't af afraid to go out of their comfort zone and also to do something that is a little bit different. Okay, so I'm just... Yeah. So this is really... This is, this is what I call proper crafting. I had this ink left on my mat. I decided it was too good to waste, so I've mopped it up. Now I've got a background paper. And I'll just trim that off. Okay, so that's quite a nice, Lovely. so let's... Got to tell you, we've been using the wood stain. Details are on your screen. A lot of you are putting this into your basket. And when I just saw Ali working the wood stain onto the wood, not even priming it, the colour was incredible. Over half the stock, scratch that. And the time it took me to tell you, we're now at 60% of the stock for our wood stain. Very busy, twelve ninety nine your price. Right, now, obviously, oh, wow. our ephemera yeah. is see-through. Uh -huh. So if I wanted to, if I was to just stick that one straight down, we would see the line through the other one. Yeah. So all I've done is I've cut it, and then I can stick it oh, that's above clever. there. And now he's hanging behind. Genius. Okay, and so we're just going to finish it off mm -hmm. with a quick greeting. And we'll have the greeting going across both papers, because we can... There we go, one very simple Christmas card. Um, I'll just make another 20 of them and I'm sorted. Incredible. <laughs> and that's the thing. We want you to get excited about your crafting. Uh, and here at Hochanda, we do place a lot of value on obviously the demonstrations. Now, if you do want to go for the ephemera, it is a pick and mix. You're picking any three, or you can just pick three times uh, one option if you prefer. Let's have a look at our options. What are we going to go for? Well, I tell you what, we have Ben, floor manager Ben, working today, and he's a very popular member of the Hochanda team. So let's let him pick one. What would you like, Ben? Oh, coffee stains for Ben. All right. We've got the very talented Kim, our producer. She's been tipped for big things here at Hochanda. What would you like? Splat. She loves a splat and a dribble. And then we have got Marcus. He's the resident heartthrob at Hochanda. Marcus, what would you like to go for? Oh, he said he's going to go for the frames because he wants to put his portrait in one. There we go. Uh, so that's the team picking, but you get to pick. I mean, 11, it's 11.97, is it? And uh, you are saving three pounds, but there are so many other deals on there. And look at the heart five-star reviews as well. This is for the ephemera. This is the classic ephemera so the, uh, options that we brought to you in the past. So do have a look, but the five-star reviews says a lot. And I have to say, if I had to give Stamps Away and Ali a star rating, I wouldn't give you five stars, Ali, I'm sorry. I'd give you six. Thank you very much. <laughs> be really awkward <laughs> if I went two stars. Two. Yeah, okay. I'll never do that. Uh, look, I can tell you that there are, um, there are options with regards to the one day special. 
I'm all about the one day special. You're saving 50 pounds. I know it says uh, we've brought different details up. But the, uh, with the one day special, I know it said 10 pounds, but you're actually saving 50. If, oh, okay, thank you. Um, so with the one day special, you are saving 50 pounds. You are not saving 10 pounds. If you were to go for uh, one of the options, and I know Kim was just going to show you the details there. So say you wanted to get a set of four with the DVD, you're saving 20 pounds and it's 29.99. So what you would be paying is 49 pounds for that. That'd be regular retail price. With the one day special, you're saving the 20 pounds here, you're saving the 20 pounds here, and then on top of that, a further 10 pounds, so 50 pounds in total. But I think as projects, this is how I like to look at it. And if you're watching now, I know so many viewers, you guys, you're crafters. And I include myself in that mix, I am a crafter. So I get excited and I think some, for me, and Ali, I don't know if you'll agree, but as a crafter, sometimes the hard thing is looking for that next project. Yeah, yeah. So you're kind of constantly, here you have eight, projects and each one of these so giftable or display them in your home so having a look all four these are the projects that you will see on the dvd these are the completed projects this this stunning oh well, we stop there that's a trinket box that you can see there but equally we can put recipes we can put cards that in itself is phenomenal okay i love that then we've got this lovely box here which we use the wood stain so isn't that you, nice if you think about those projects that the crate is the sort of the beginner. It's very, it's very simple. Looks yeah. effective, but quite simple to get you started. Yeah, like then that. You'd possibly move on to the the brown shelf okay, because which is again, oh. it's not overly complicated, but there's so lots cool. of little bits that you can dip into and do and build up. Put some ATCs on there if you yeah. wanted. You can go whimsical. You can put any designs. Well, you can just fill it with bits well, you found. You know, all Angel, sorts put, of different. I put putting on the side of those that would affect ephemera. Yeah. Yeah, so look, you've got that. That's a project that you see Ali working on the DVD. Look at this. Look at this. But then that's what you build oh. up to. You might, not, you might not want to tackle that straight away. I mean, that is incredible. Another project on, a DVD, on the DVD. So four projects there. All four of the projects that you've just seen, you're getting the one day special, but you're getting so much more too. Uh, over here, there's another four projects. And remember, you are getting the DVD in the mix. I'll get into that in one moment. So here we're getting, I'll just lift up all four of the projects. This in itself, if you don't want to put a picture, I have to say Tonka is incredible and everyone needs a cuddle from Tonka. And one day when social distancing <laughs> has ended, I would love to meet Tonka and give him a big cuddle, all right? Look at he's, that face. He's 40 kilos, so it's quite a cuddle. I, do, I would I'd give him the biggest cuddle. Look at that face, I love him. Uh, so, but this, you could just put a sentiment in there, you could put papers, but it's just a beautiful piece, all right? So that I would absolutely do. You can even have that as, it could be someone's, it could be Ben's craft room, if you wanted. All right, well, you let me pop that down. you could be open and because you've got the two sides yeah. to it. What about Santa stop here? Yes. Oh. And you've got the little shelf there, Santa so you could here. leave little, could be for the tooth fairy, and you yeah. could have the little ledge to leave the, the gift for the That's tooth fairy. That's cute. All right, I'll pop Are that down. <laughs> Over here, another project. Let me just show you that. See so the clipboard. And that's another one. It's a good starter project. And actually, I think what Ali's done is used the ephemera, that new design ephemera wood effect, and how effective is that? That's over the that? pine colour. So you Ooh. can see what I mean about the pine. It's that lovely, warm... Well, the difference, if I show you, that's the back. And then... And that's why I don't paint the back, so yeah, that we can show that. Show, that's, inc <laughs> that's incredible. OK, so that's another project on the DVD. And then these are the two other projects that you're getting on the DVD there as well. So eight projects in total. That's so a really cool So again, on that one. DVD, you might start with the palette art, which is nice mm -hmm. and simple, although you do get to know how to make um, homemade crackle paste, yeah. which is good. Wait, what? Homemade crackle paste. So we will learn how to make homemade crackle yeah. paste. And that's the kind of thing you get with Ali. I love, I love the workshop. I'll also tell you the story of how it came about. <laughs> because these, it was a pure accident. These are going to be collector's pieces. If you're a fan of Stamps Away, or this could be your first time to maybe buy something from Stamps Away, you picked a great moment to dip into the wonderful world that is Ali. That's the final one, just to show you the final effect. Uh, there'll be a different design on the front because we've got the dandelion um, stencil in the mix. Can I, just before we get back to Ali, can I just say one thing to you? Eight projects. If you just consider the projects individually, it would work out £6.25 per project. 
that's the full price that we're saying. And we would happily, if I was to tell you, I'd give you just some instructions and that as a project, £6.25, I think we'll all agree as crafters we'd be happy to pay that. But on top of that, so we've covered it. Everything else I'm about to tell you now is, is a bonus. At £6.25, we've covered the price of the one-day special. Remember, you're actually saving £50, not £10. Uh, then you're getting the two DVDs and you're getting the stencil all on top as a bonus. £50 saving. Each project works out £6.25. And then if you see it that way, the DVDs, the stencil, they are a bonus. It is a great one-day special, and it is a busy one-day special. 705-268, your item number. Now, if you do want uh, some more DVDs with Ali, we've got you covered. Let's have a look. This is your Surface Collection. Uh, you're getting DVD 1 and 2. This, actually, this is pretty cool. So £14.98 your price, saving £5. 608-715, your item number. And I'm just going to tell you, we've just got one more thing to share. Now, this is a nice little bundle, Ali. Oh, yes. Yes. And <laughs> it works really my, well with a one-day special. That's one of my kind of, I want to get people hooked kits. Okay. <laughs> so it's got a little bit of all sorts in it. It's really to highlight the matte acrylic medium, which wow. is basically... Um, like a glue that you dip your fabric in and it will harden and you can shape and manipulate. It's what I've used on the one of the shelves to get the yeah. drapey effect. You've also got obviously the fossils which are beautiful. Then you've got some different materials that you can mm -hmm. dip the matte acrylic medium so wait, in. Everything here we're getting? Yeah. These aren't examples, we're getting everything no, you're here? you're getting everything. For 12 96 Yeah. So, so you're getting some beads and some bits because I like to do texture. Um, that is fabulous just because you dip the glue Textures. in and then you manipulate it you've got a little bit of molding mesh to try and then you've got the wiggle mesh which I was using earlier on the side of um Ooh. Ali this is a great buy yeah it's oh, just it's sorry, just guys. to get you hooked on the uh, mixed media <laughs> that's I'm, I'm being clumsy tonight um that is such a good buy when you consider that you are getting all of this so all the different mediums and of course what's in here Ali so that is black gesso because okay. whenever you're doing anything like this and creating lots of texture, you need something to take it all back to have the same feel. So mm. I tend to go black because any, any colour you put on it after that really pops. So, so whatever surface you're using, whether it be wood, um, uh, the, the fabrics, all of those, when you put the black gesso over them, they'll all take the colour the same way and it's like a... We'll do a little bit on the... On the um, Twisty shelf. That is In a fact, great shall I do that next? Well, yeah, please. I'm just saying, all of this for twelve ninety six. Love these, these fossils. They're really nice of shelves. Uh, and mites, are they called? Ammonite. I think I got given one of these from Natural History Museum when I was younger. Not an official one, you know, one from the uh, store. Can you imagine? Uh, 635, 428, your item number there. Uh, all right, we're going to head back to Ali now uh, to continue our demonstration. Now, apologies, because I was talking while Ali, all she was doing was just using the stains and uh, she was just painting it onto uh, our next project, well, which I've, is... I've just, because we said about that, I thought I'll, I'll, get, I'll carry on with what we were doing earlier with that. Okay, we, great. So we, we're, I've sort of changed my mind a little bit because I'm allowed yeah. to do that, aren't you are, I? Of course I was you are. just looking for a fossil. I had a fossil. There's yeah. a fossil. Well, I'll okay. let you get. S oh, you got it. Okay. <laughs> I'm efficient. Cool. <laughs> right. So we started this earlier. All I did was I glued some of this wiggle wiggle mesh on, and look at the texture there straight away. So we're going to add a little um, fossil, and mm -hmm. I don't know what else I've got in terms of texture. I must have things lurking in the bottom of my... I did joke <laughs> today that my basket is just an array of things that oh you yeah. never know that you're going to need. Tell you what, Ali, I know we've got a finished sample video. Would you like us to just give you some time just to get everything ready and we can show it? The video is only a few seconds. Should yeah, we, show we that? can do that because then I can have a rummage and see what okay. else I've got in the magic basket. Would you, and you need to see it because the finished examples are great. So this is featuring finished sample, featuring our, our one day special. Take a look at this. We're back in a second.
Thanks. Now we're going to get onto our demonstration valley. Any questions, please feel free to email studio at hochanda.com. Okay, so in the matte acrylic medium inspiration pack that's a bit of a mouthful mm -hmm. you get um, some beads you get uh, this wiggly mesh which is fabulous you get a fossil a couple of fossils you get all sorts of different things that create texture mm. so you get some twine which is really good for this sort of thing so all sorts of different things but obviously when you're working with all these different materials, yeah. everything has a different finish. So if I was to brush the the stain onto the fossil, yeah, it takes lovely. Ooh, yeah, it, it does, does take really nice, by yeah, the way. It really does. But if I do it onto the flowers, yeah, okay. MDF, okay. The mat, uh, the the wiggly mesh, it doesn't take to. Also, the colour on there is different to the colour on there, to, so it's not creating that yeah. uniformity. Okay. So if you use black gesso, right. which I just had my black gesso, what? Just it behind the bottle. Oh yeah, okay. see, in plain mm -hmm. sight. Okay. You get a little pot of black gesso, which will still go a long way. So, you black Can gesso over everything. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So black gesso over literally everything. You will of course wait for everything to have dried in place. Right. Um, which is one of the, again, it's one of those things that you set it all off, possibly leave it overnight to fully dry. Depends how heavy handed you are as a crafter. If you're very heavy handed, I suggest leaving things to dry overnight because then the glue will be completely dry. If you're yeah. quite a delicate crafter. Such as yourself. Yes, such as myself. Um, glue that back in place later. Um, <laughs> <laughs> which you can always glue it back of in. Of course you can, yeah. Sometimes, if I'm doing a really intricate shape, and I'm thinking I'm not going to be able to get into all those little gaps. Yeah. I'll actually black gesso it before I glue it on. Oh, okay. The other thing to do, if you're doing something that's really dimensional, nice. take a teaspoon of black gesso and about a tablespoon of warm water yeah. into a spray bottle and then just spritz it and it will get into all the gaps. Well, that's actually a really good tip. It's really a really tip. handy yeah. tip. Unfortunately, it's one of those tips that I found out about three years too late. <laughs> so after many years of sitting Struggling. there with a paintbrush going mm. into all the little gaps, um, and when I shared it with a workshop, it was, it was a bit of a eureka Revelation, moment. Yeah. Um, so you just go all over. And then this is the point, once everything's covered in black, Mm -hmm. See how it's now, I'm just going to get into those flowers because otherwise it's not going to illustrate my point. Everything has become one now. It's no longer a flower stuck on with a fossil, with a, everything works as one. Yeah. So then what colour or what medium you put on top to highlight that texture is entirely up to you. If you've got gilding waxes, you can use your gilding waxes if you've got mica powders you can dust your mica powders on mm -hmm. if you've got sprays use your sprays you just want something to then start adding a little bit mm. of texture now i'm going to use mica powder and for this i'm not going to let the gesso dry i'm going to work it in while the gesso is wet oh, because okay. mica powder needs moisture right but if it has started to dry you dust the mica on like this and then spritz it with water yeah. I don't think I've got a water spritzer here because that would be really cool. Uh, I don't think we've got one to hand. Sorry. I'll ha I will have a look in my basket in a minute because okay. I'm just going to bring some. No, that's an ink. Don't use an ink stain, it won't sparkle. But yeah. oh, that's something I keep forgetting to say. Your ink stains will come with um, a nice label on that explains what to do with them. Okay. With your wood stains. Um, I didn't put them on the ones on the counter because it seals the lid and I wanted you to be able to open them. Whereas oh, if okay. you put a seal on it, nobody likes to open it. Yeah, that's true. Right, I'm going to quickly see if I've got, if not, I'll just use my bottle Now, of with water. regard to the wood stains, we are 60% of the stock gone, and they are very, very busy. So if you want to get hold of uh, all three of those, we're just going to bring the details. Apologies, our system's being cheeky. So I happen to find... Oh, well done. 
As I say, it's amazing what's in my basket. <laughs> So I'm just spritzing that, and you can see now it's starting to highlight all that lovely texture. That's looking good. And that's how you build up your texture and that's your looking interest. That's really good. But you see, it's nothing, it's not, there's no skill to it in terms of it's just about Plain. knowing what levels to do. The important thing is taking everything back to that one. Now, if you're not a fan of black, mm -hmm. go with white gesso. Yeah. But what you'll find with white gesso is it's actually harder to build up the colour uh, to get okay. the interest. You really have to layer a lot of colour on. Whereas right. if you've got black, you put a bit of gold on and straight away, that's really wow. Yeah. So that's my Pops. top tip is actually, even if you're not a fan of black, mm -hmm. give it a go. Ali, I'm just thinking, the wood stains are really busy. Yep. Just for uh, the benefit of anyone might tuned in, earlier on when you were just painting onto the wood, it was incredible just how effective and the coverage you got. Could you just paint a little onto some wood? I mean, I'm not looking for, looking for a technique. Perfect. We could just maybe paint that side. Okay, so this is one Look I mixed up this. earlier. This so this is the chestnut. Now you'll find this first time you go across the MDF, you'll think, yeah. oh, that's not soaking in. Because the MDF has like a paper coating to it. Yeah. So you just work it across. When you get to the ends where the MDF's cut, just sort of almost stipple it and let it soak in. Yeah, look at that though. Now, when it dries, uh -huh. it has a matte finish to it, okay? Well, now you can... one there just dried, yeah. You can um, yeah. pop a little bit of varnish across it, water down some PVA glue and work that across it, uh, just to give it that shine, shine if you yeah. want it, or a bit of furniture polish. Perfect. Just, you know, just to, yeah. if you want to have that shine. I quite like the matte finish. Yeah, agreed. But that's a beautiful, rich colour. And that's the chestnut. With the, you're getting the chestnut, you're also getting the cherry and the pine as well. Yeah, the cherry we saw earlier, which was the lovely red Christmassy one. And the uh -huh. pine's the only one I haven't done. Okay. So let me see. I've painted all of those. Haven't painted that bit. Have I got a spare pot? Should have. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Now, while Ali's just getting set there, we have got the two DVDs, the printable DVD. So, as the name suggests on these, we can print off elements? Yes, basically, uh. the Surfaces um, DVDs are... I've gone around with my camera and I've photographed everything from rusty sides of tractors to oh, peeling cool. paint on houses. Um, there's a houses in St John's in Canada called the Jelly Bean Houses and they're all beautiful wood clad. And if you looked at those, some of the paint that was peeling was fabulous. So I just took a photo. Wow. Fabulous tree trunk with all the lichen. But exactly that. Doesn't that look dimensional? That's amazing. But it's just, I've just taken an old notebook, covered it up. And that's your endless stash. So you're getting two DVDs, absolutely chock-a-block full of surfaces. You just print off. So you, as long as you've got a printer and some paper, and the paper's up to you, you can print onto photographic, you can print off to uh, copy paper, you can print onto, well, anything that you can put super smooth, whatever you like. Yeah, and uh, on the same note, you can print onto your printable fabric, so you can make a bag out of something uh, so it looks like rust. Yeah. Um, you know, anything that you want, just, and you can print them off a uh, hundred times if you want so if you want to cover a chair or anything nice. but it's all photographic so it looks so and if you're it's not the endless stash as well yeah so if you're not into making rusty effects uh -huh. print out Done. a bit of rust just got to tell you one last thing to share uh, and a few of you have found it it's a molding mesh so if you do want to put the molding mesh and the glue into your basket 9.99 is your price you get a beautiful molding mesh 814 766 your item number Okay, so now we're looking at the We're doing the pine. The pine, sorry. So we did cherry earlier. Yeah. So, and my brush has got um, chestnut on, so and I can't go from pine, from chestnut to pine. I can right. go the other way because it's, it's a dark colour. Yeah. But you'll see what I mean about... Oh, yeah. So it's that proper Very old light. pine look. You know where it's been in the sun a little bit? Yeah. There is a little bit of black gesso on here as well, so right. apologies. Okay. But that will give me an idea to show you a little technique as well. Uh -huh. Okay, so mm. just work that in. So this time I'm putting it on with a sponge. Nice. Now, you can either, yeah. if I just flick that over, because this side should be dry-ish. Okay, and that's your, um, just remind me again that one? So that's chestnut. chestnut. Yes, thanks. 
So somewhere mm -hmm. in my pile, there it is. So we're using the brand new ephemera. These are new designs. Uh, and the feathers has been the most popular one so far. So brand, brand new designs with the adhesive ephemera. And it's something that you're so well known for now. And when I mention Stamps Away to crafters, invariably a lot of the times they will, they will discuss the ephemera with me. So I'm just going to place that yeah. down. Nice. I'm not going to do the whole, so I've not measured that very yeah. well. Sorry. Do you get that a lot though, Ali, when you talk to customers? They, they tend to chat to you about the ephemera? Well, because it's fairly new, yes. Uh, but the um, trouble is we've not really been out and about much. That's the, uh -huh, the okay. trouble. It, it's harder. Um, but certainly on Facebook and things, they're yeah. loving the different crackle. Oh, the crackles are crackle always, is always popular. We love a bit of crackle as crafters. But you see, look, so now that's mm -hmm. no longer a piece of MDF, that's a plank of wood. Yeah. And you can cut these up, piece them together. I say, I would actually sort of almost draw around it more carefully, but the fact that you can piece it together. But you can see, look how effective that looks. Yeah. Okay, so that's one way of getting your wood grain. Right. Please excuse the very, very mucky fingerprints on that. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to show you another way of adding another layer of interest. Okay, we've got four minutes. Just oh, know. loads of time. Let's put a lid on something before I knock it flying, though. Okay. And this is something that's covered in the DVD as well. Okay. So. I'm using black gesso, but this could be any dark colour. Well, I say dark coloured. It doesn't have to be dark coloured. Any contrasting colour, mm -hmm. I think, is a fair comment. Yeah. I like black because it just, especially on air, it shows up nicely. Mm. So, onto the scoury side of our scourer. Dab off as much as you can. And then holding it at the top at a slight angle... We just go around and this is so that you're mm. getting that worn effect around the edge because if you look at old furniture the way it's like cracked yeah yeah and then once you've got quite a lot off you can then come down and do more of a grain just try and keep it as straight as you can yeah. and when it even on a corner there don't be tempted to go around try and keep it straight because that's where your grain would be nice and this is go. the kind of thing that you'll get on the DVD. That's awesome, Ali. Thank so you so much. So that's how you do the, the wooden shelf was yeah. done that way. Which is on the DVD with the one day special. I've got to talk to you about the one day special. We have been incredibly busy this hour. Ignore the £10 saving. You are not saving £10. You are actually saving £40 from the two individual options and that £10 is an additional saving. So in effect you are saving £50. The £40 saving has already been factored into the price. You are getting eight individual projects with Ali taking you through every step of the way, allowing you to dip into your own stash. You've got two DVDs, chock a block full of techniques. And this is what I love about working with Ali, because she will just suddenly, in a technique, deviate and start giving you another technique, telling you about the backstory. She's got so much personality, and you know how much Ali loves her crafting and sharing those techniques. This is a phenomenal one day special. If you look at the actual projects that you are going to be making, so we've got the sign, which you're seeing here, that is on the DVD. That's one of the projects with Tonka. I mean, you put whatever you like in there. You've also got the chi uh, the um, pin board there as well. I've just I've just seen. Sorry, what did you want to did you want to show? I was that? just I was just going to say I've made a typical crafter's mistake. I've got um, splats on Kay. Tonka's picture. Well, it looks like now, she's been in the mud. Exactly. Well, he's been in the mud. But right. we can embrace that. Okay. We find our splat sheet, which is in here somewhere. Mm -hmm. And we now take that mistake and make it a feature. And let's have, let's have, so it's now a properly distressed image. This was how we planned it. I didn't really spill my ink crystals on it. So Tonka's just gone for a muddy walk and is loving every second. So now it's part of the element and we can ah. then add a greeting. Let's have a word. Right, and as he's a dog in mud. 45 seconds, sorry. We can get have fun done in the corner love it 
Oh, Ali, I've had so much fun this hour. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Genuinely, thank you. Ali, we'll be returning live at uh, 8 tomorrow morning. I do hope you can tune in. So she'll, she'll be live at 8, 12 and 4 as part of our one-day special. 50% uh, of the one-day special has gone. It is such a good one-day special. Eight individual options. You're getting two DVDs, absolutely chock-a-block full of elements uh, and techniques. And they obviously allow you the uh, skill set to go on and make all of the projects in front of you. And you're getting the stencil in there as well. You're not saving 10 pounds, you're saving 50. So those are the takeaway points. Thank you so much for your company.